Ah, what is it? What is it? Do you know what it is? It's the E mode. So, um, indoor smokers didn't really like this, didn't really want to give it a full review. Um, it's actually pretty complicated. The most complicated mod that I have, um, ever had the pleasure to attempt to review so that's what this is gonna be an attempt to review all the freaking things this thing does um so we'll just start with an unboxing right now to show you what the e-mode kit includes obviously a picture of what it is so there it is nice and pretty all sleek and black so go ahead and pop this out well um i'll take this out in a second so underneath here so there's a bunch of crap in here. This, instead of trying to guess what everything is, I guess I'll just tell you there's a list on the back. Two emote mouthpieces. So one is on it and then there's um, ones like that. Just sort of a flat tip. One emote atomizer body, which it is. Two emote atomizer C2 heads. One emote control head. One emote tube. One emote power supply. One USB cable. One wall adapter and one manual. Holy Toledo, there is a lot of stuff in here. Um, obviously, here is the manual, and there looks like there's some cover tips, and then these little black things right here go into where the battery thing is. I'll show you that in a second. Um, I have no idea what this thing is. Um, here is the wall adapter in here. Um, oh, it comes with some extra atomizers, because this thing is like pretty special. Some warning labels, um, USB cable in here, and some atomizer, just just a whole slew of stuff. So let's take a look at the so let's take a look at the E mode and then I will get then I will get into this uh, user's manual because there is so much going on with this uh, E mode e sig mod battery. So here it is in all of its glory, and this is the tank that it comes with. So it looks like it is not interchangeable with the tanks and here's the mouthpiece that you can either have that flat tip one or this one now this is just crazy so those little black pieces are showing you um, are for where you put in the battery right there it's not attached so that is easily lost and what the heck um, it is variable voltage It is variable voltage and there's um, this collar spin, so that's neat. Oh, and it's a variable wattage. So the voltages and wattages are together. So when you have so when you have 4.4 volts, you have 8.4 watts. That's interesting. Um, I don't even know how. I don't even know how to turn this thing on. Um, all right, after some slight technical difficulties, um, I was going to show you this is the tank right here. And I am oh, fucking up. I am almost positive it is a bottom fill. I'll have to look at the, um, the thing. So here's the battery, here's the tank. I have it set at 3.8 volts. And, um, actually, so, it's a five push start and I am not sure why, but the little button RVW is on. I will, I will look at the manual and come back and tell you what that all means. I know the VV uh, light up is for variable voltage, the VW is variable wattage. I'm not sure what RVV stands for. So um, I'm just going to give it a couple vapes because it is a really good machine. It's just pretty confusing. And then I will look at the manual, come back and tell you guys all the things that are pretty impert are impertinent to this review. And the only reason it's gurgling is because I took off the wrong part of the tank like a dumbass because I should have just read the directions first. <laughs> yep, 
You can see it vapes really well and I'm actually, I have some Pocono Vapes e-juice in here and it is super, super good in this um, weird tank style that I've never seen before. <clears throat> really good vape. Um, so I don't know why, but this metal piece that bewilders me, I know it goes in here. I don't know why for, but I will definitely figure it out and let you guys know. And upon first glance, I thought that the tank was only this little tiny thing, but it is actually this whole uh, thing right here. So it's a, it's a decent style or <laughs> it's a decent size tank. Big freaking vapor clouds though. Good flavor. Um, let me go look at the manual a little, little bit, come back and give you guys a more um, detailed, because I know that this thing is actually pretty complicated and obviously here is where you would unscrew and the battery goes in here and it's not one of those normal batteries. It's a five push start. I am just all over the place with this review and I'm really sorry guys, but this is like the most technical, weird, interesting, awesome mod that I've ever had the pleasure to look at. Wow. So I read up on this manual. Um, I was very wrong. You do fill this tank from the top. My bad. And the VV obviously variable wattage, or <clears throat> the VV obviously variable voltage, VW obviously variable wattage. The RVV and the RVW, can you see it? Means that you can change the voltage or the wattage while you're taking a drag, which is super crazy to me you can also connect this you can also connect this to your computer and it downloads all your vaping habits like how long you take a puff which it has a 10 second shut off um, how many times you puff and what you vape at and just all this other stuff and you can download like other people's personal preferences on vaping like either um, <clears throat> and so just confusing um, so to change it from there you just hold it this mod is very advanced I would have to say and also very confusing it'd be perfect for somebody who likes to tinker around with things like that and really know like their vaping habits and really like to adjust their vaping I've never heard of adjusting the voltage or wattage while you're taking a drag that seems pretty I don't know not useful to me. I don't know why somebody, I guess it's for like if you want a hotter vape when you first take in a vape and then a, a cool as you go. I don't know. But it, it does vape well for the machine and Indoor Smokers was right. This thing is just, <laughs> oh my god. But as you can see, it does put out a lot of vapor and that's just at the default setting. It does have default settings um, when you first get it so you can actually vape it without having to hook it up to the MVR software. So I'll put a link below to this crazy, confusing, excellent vapor production mod and I hadn't um, figured out there was no indication onto what this little thing meant or that little screwy thing. I guess it's to tighten the atomizer without actually having to take it all apart. So that's it for today's kind of review unboxing hope you liked it video stay tuned to my channel for more reviews subscribe for giveaways and as always thank you so much for watching guys